Feast of St. Mary Magdalene. A reading from the Song of Songs. The bride says, On my bed at night I sought him, whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city. In the streets and crossings I will seek him, whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchmen came upon me as they made their rounds of the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? I had hardly left them when I found him whom my heart loves. The Word of the Lord. The response is, My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God, whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary, to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you, your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb. We don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. In the long tradition of the Church, including its artistic tradition, Mary Magdalene has generally been portrayed as the repentant sinner. This is largely due to her being mistakenly identified with a sinful woman who washed the feet of Jesus with 
her tears and dried them with her hair there is not evidence to suggest in the gospels that she was any more a sinner than the other disciples of jesus the gospel reading for her feast which we have just read portrays her as a woman whose devotion to jesus brought her to the tomb early on the first sunday morning her heartfelt devotion to jesus also left her outside the tomb weeping tears of loss when she discovered the body of jesus was not there she sought the lord but could not find him however the lord came seeking her and found her when he called her by her name mary like mary magdalene we too seek the lord and like her we are also the object of the lord's search indeed the lord's search for us is prior to our search for him even if we struggle to make our way to the lord like mary the lord always makes his way to us and calls us by our name he is the good shepherd who having laid down his life for us now calls us by name in calling us to himself by name the lord also sends us out as he sent out mary magdalene to bring the good news of his easter presence to those we meet the lord who calls us by name also calls us to be his messengers to others